Hey guys, so I want to take you through the build of the trench knife. You have to bear with me, I took a lot of footage and I tried to cut it down as short as possible, but it's still pretty long. Also, I started recording this before I had any experience capturing video, so there'll be a few problems here and there, but uh, I still think it's a pretty interesting build. Enjoy. <laughs> So where I ended last time was my hole spacing it was a little bit wider than the original sketch. So I made a new sketch and I even brought the holes down a little bit elongated right here and at the customer request pointed these outward a little bit more. Not quite sure what he's going to be doing with it but it's what he wanted. So now we're all lined up, and I'm going to transfer this to the steel.
All right, let's talk about where I left off last time. Uh, I had elongated each of these holes. Much more comfortable grip now. And uh, these are all evened out. Now I'm going to come in and hog off this stuff right here. So I'm going to start getting the final profile of the knuckles. So let's just start. So I've ground some bevels in here. They aren't perfect, but I'm kind of worried that post heat treat is going to get kind of ugly. I don't know. I haven't ground a dagger like this before. So I'm going to move to draw filing it and get it as perfect as I can before heat treat. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Never done that either. so. Uh, see what happens.
right, so now I've draw filed this whole side and I am hand sanding it to 600 grit everywhere down this line. I'm getting it ready for heat treat. Then I'll switch over the other side and do the same thing. Today's heat treat day, and uh, got the oven heating up, and about to clean that off a little bit, and then apply some clays to it to protect it. One of them's to protect it during heat treat, and I got another one. It'll be for uh, creating a hormone. So here's the stuff for the hormone, and then here is stuff to prevent it, prevent scale called no scale so let's get started Time to quench. Alright, shut your mouth. to it. Alright guys, uh, got a little head start on it. Heat treated, tempered, uh, had to do some regrinding to get through some of the scale, but now I'm back to uh, hand sanding. So I'm going to try to get it hand sanded the blade to about 800 and do a quick dip in the ferric chloride just to see how the hormone turned up. Alright guys, I just got done sanding it to kind of a dirty 800. I want to see what the hormone looks like before I go any further. too bad kind of kind of crazy looking Let's take a look here see if y'all can get an idea of it oh come on get in the focus there you go camera all right everybody i am going to start on you see a little problem with the plunge line there yeah i've got to fix that so I'm stepping back for a second, I'm going to work on this.
I'm going to do now is start working on the scales. Basically, going to lay them on here where I want them, draw it out where I'm going to have it, and then uh, kind of slowly cut it out and uh, fit them to the handles and see what happens next. So what you see here is my tapered tang jig. Uh, it's been very useful actually for doing more than just tapered tangs, but whenever you need to suspend something to get straight lines, it's been great. So first, I'm gonna slide it in and uh, go tight. Now I'm going to see. Oh, okay. Alright everybody, now I'm in my drill press. I'm going to drill these three holes, slightly undersized, and I'll come back with a reamer. I'm just kind of rough cutting these finger twirls out so I can grind on them a little bit better later. Alright, real quick, one thing I like to do, got another eighth inch reamer on this little hand tool here and I'll just come in here and kind of hand ream it myself a little bit to help. All right, I hope you all can see this. It's kind of an awkward position in my shot, but I want to use this little spindle sander just to bring these a little bit closer to my lines. So, one. I want to make sure it's not getting too hot. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I got my brass pins and I'm just going to turn them down a little bit to fit my stock. They're a little bit oversized. So. Oh. Alright guys, so now I pin this guy together. Tanks tapered so you can barely slide a pin in but it holds it together enough. Now I'm going to work out those angles that I want at both ends here and here. Alright, now I'm going to bring this up to the profile. So now, focus, yep, looks good. I am going to work on bringing that these handle materials profile to the profile of the tank. So. All right, I'm gonna start working on cleaning up these knuckles a little bit right here. I'm going to start with this and move over to the scotch right belt. So, see what happens. 
ножки. Sanding. Work on the spine right now. Go one direction. Work out all the marks from the grinder going that way. Forgot to get the camera going earlier, but right now I am doing file work on these finger holes. So, yeah, have fun watching. Okay, I thought maybe y'all would want to see this part. Saw how I was filing these earlier. Well, now I'm going to use this as a scalloped uh, J-Flex belt at 220. And I'm just going to work these contours. Kind of up into the scale a little more. I'm not gonna be able to do this after I glue it up, so gotta do it now. I am going to start sanding the inner, the metal on the inside. I've rounded these things pretty good. They feel pretty darn good in the hand. So that's where I want to go next. For a glue up, I have to clean up all the areas that are going to be touching the metal. So usually it's just up by the bolster. But since we have the uh, skull crusher, we've got to clean up that area too. So, And then each one of these spots right here, here, and here. So that's what I'm going to work on. I forgot to uh, start the video to show y'all that you my maker's mark on it. But I've done it. And I did a final etch. And it's soaking in oil. Got the blade cleaned off. And I'm ready for glue up. Uh, so that's next. Pull these pins wipe off the inside here in case there's any dust that should be pretty clean using G-Flex Just going to epoxy both of these first. And the pins. So let's start with 
this guy. Ugh, I hate it when I do that. Do. Sucker glue up and get after it later. <laughs> 